Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a video that's going to cover lots of bases and just go through random uh, topics and things like that. I have a list here of things I want to talk to you guys about and the first thing I want to say is I apologize. The air is going to be on. It's almost 8 o'clock at night and it's still about 90 degrees so that's got to stay on. I feel like when I'm comfortable uh, with the temperature then I'm not so discombobulated and heat affects me in a really bad way uh, so it's, it's gonna stay on so I apologize for that next is my shirt that I'm wearing the shirt that I'm wearing it's a Rachel Roy t-shirt and it was in my wear or donate in two months pile that I have been collecting which that pile is actually I want to say half of it is gone to the either my drawers or or my donate bag which the donate donate bag has to be donated soon because it's taking up the entire hallway I also included sneakers and bags which I did not film those two which I kind of wish I did uh, but I I plan to revisit those those two areas again so I'll try to film it it was just that I decided to do it late at night and it just wasn't the right time to film Anyway, this, back to this shirt. I tried this on and I really like it. I love this color to begin with, but I'm glad that I, um, I mean, that's the point of having that pile. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually, is just try all the things on and right then and there, in or out. So uh, that's what I'm probably gonna do. I probably won't film it. Some things don't fit me and I'm kind of embarrassed about that. Uh, which is another thing I actually, I'm gonna talk about my weight. Um, I have, lost about five pounds or so which is really good but I mean you guys know I started this weight loss journey or lifestyle change in May April May and five pounds is is not that great um, I I was really motivated the first two three weeks and then I just fell off um, I it's just so hard for me to I don't know to I just don't want to exercise I want to eat the foods that I want to eat I like going out to eat and it's just been a real struggle um, to just change and I haven't gained any weight which is a good thing but I really haven't lost the weight that I wanted to lose so um, kind of back to where I started well a little bit better than where I started which is good uh, but I'm gonna keep on trying and because I know I can do this and it's um, it's something that I want to do so I'm gonna keep on working on it and then the next thing I want to talk about was my job I finally got a job I haven't really talked about my my work or career um, on this channel um, it's just something that I I don't know I guess it never really came up I when I got out of college, I um, I started working in an office, not related to my degree or anything like that. I it was close to home, and I, it was a lot of money for me at that time. Um, I still lived at home, so I didn't have major expenses, and I worked there for a very very long time, about six or seven years. Um, I. I actually like the work. I like working in an office, but the people there, I didn't, didn't, not that I didn't like them, but they didn't like me, so it was just not a fun place to work, and I decided to go back to school for my, uh, for an LPN degree, a nursing degree, practical nursing, not RN, um, but it's um, LPN, <laughs> and I started working and I realized the hard way that that wasn't for me um, I mean I love you know you're helping people become better and or you're trying to help them become better I I love that aspect of it but uh, it just was a little bit too much pressure for me uh, and so I was kind of lost I felt I guess the best way to describe it is like you're a boat lost at sea I don't know I I was just floating and I didn't really know what to do with myself and I'm so lucky to have the support of my family the way that I do just um, they've been amazing and I finally got a job it's gonna be a full-time job I don't want to get into too much specifics but I'm gonna be working uh, for the uh, Board of Ed the New York City Department of Education 
and I'm really happy I it's the pay is not anything you know to write home about but it's a steady paycheck and I'm just really happy to begin this chapter of my life uh, so that brings me to my next topic, which is my videos. I'm going to be working full time. Uh, so I, I have been making videos regularly, pretty much consistently every Tuesday and Friday. I'm going to probably switch to just Saturdays. And then if I have time, I'll do something during the week as a bonus. So you're going to be seeing this video for the first time on a Saturday. It's been a while. And I'm... Um, I just, you know, that's, I know I'm going to be busy and I still want to make videos, but I don't think I'll have time to make as many videos as I would like. So that's going to be a change. And then the next thing I want to talk about is my planner. I showed you guys this planner. It's from Target and it's by the brand. I'm not 100% sure how you say that brand. I've used their stuff all the time. Mead? Med? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, but it looks like this. I really like it. The only thing that I wish it did come with was a folder on the inside. So I just have a binder clip, which is not my favorite. Um, and I'm going to try to see if I could get like a folder insert or make one myself. But I just want to show you what I've been doing. I've just uh, been taking my mailing labels and putting stickers on them. So you could just see. Uh, not anything too spectac spectacular, but it's just really fun to decorate. And so that's what I, I've been doing that. Putting down like when I have to do my spa night to my face. Just fun things. Uh, so let me, that was, I want to share you with you my planner. And then the next thing is stuff that I've gotten in the past couple of weeks. I know I just did a haul, a couple of hauls, but this is, um... Yeah, I've just been to, let's see, Macy's, what store is this, Dollar Dynasty, and Walmart. And I want to start with Macy's. I'm going to talk about something that's a little bit embarrassing um, to share with you guys, but it's a bra. And finding a bra, I think, for anybody is a little bit complicated because you're never too sure of your size. I looked up how to take my measurements online and I I think I did it right because all these bras fit me really nice and they're from the same company. It's Warner's. Yeah, Warner's Cloud 9, I believe. Anyway, I got myself a pair uh, on another trip before and it looks like this. I won't show you too much. Uh, but <laughs> I guess you have to see what they look like. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you. Uh, but they're, it's wireless, but they are so comfortable. It's like you're wearing nothing at all. So just go to Macy's at the Warner section and they are just, it's real. they're really, really nice. I, I just, I usually buy bras and most of the time they're the wrong size, but I found my size, which I think is really, really important that you find the correct bra size. Either you get, either you you get yourself measured uh, at you know Victoria's Secrets or wherever what store you are. There should be somebody who knows how to do that, or do it yourself like I did. And it it just happened that it worked out that I did it right, and so I got in the print this print, so cute. Uh, a pink and a black and I have and I got the nude I feel like you have to have black I didn't get a white though I thought I got a white uh, so you should have a nude a black and a white for sure and then a pretty color uh, so um, I think it's different styles I, let me just double check what they are Yeah, no, you know what, what I said to you guys before, the Warner's Cloud 9, and then there's another one where it's like, they show you your, like, arm fat or whatever, or your pits fat, and they're just really, really comfortable. I can't stress that enough. If you're looking, and it's, I feel like this is more towards the girls who are a little bit bigger. Um, it's hard to find a bra that's comfortable, that doesn't sag, um, and, you know, just... It, it's a weird topic to, to talk about so sorry I'm just all, all like really weird about it but um, yeah it's hard to find a bra that's 
makes your girls look good, feel comfortable, uh, doesn't sag, and these are fantastic. If anything, they're just the most comfortable bras that I've ever had in my life. Uh, and then I also got this cardigan that my sister found for me. It's August Silk, and it's really cute. So it's that camel colored, and then there's, it's faux leather, I'm sure, uh, around the neck and then the, down to the button. So that's that and then I got this free people free people sizing is so weird this this is an extra small and you guys know I'm you know not extra small but this fits I fell in love with this print I don't really wear stuff like this and I was thinking to myself when I was at the store I don't even have a style but I was really attracted to this to this shirt and the back is pretty crazy um, I'm definitely not going to wear it like that, but I just love it. And then let me just pull this up a little bit. Yeah, so I got that as well. And then let me talk to you about Dollar Dynasty. I can't stop with the stickers. So I got these. I got this mostly because I, I feel like that's a Shiba Inu right there. And I'm sure that was one too. I got these. And then, excuse me. I was going to give this to my sister, but she didn't want it. But I think they're so cute anyway. These are cats. I got more of these bucket things for my makeup drawer because I really am, you know, trying to not declutter my makeup uh, collection, but just fix it up because I kind of haphazardly threw it in there. So I got that. And then I know oh, this is what I want to talk about. So I just used this for it. I just used this for the first time yesterday. It's the Nivea Smooth Lake Summer Touch uh, for dark tones. And I don't know if you notice up here. And so I was reading the back and it says, best used before the end of, please see at the top of tube. So I went to look and I noticed that this was cut off. So I didn't love that, but I don't really care either. I mean, I put it on my legs and it was, I didn't get like a weird reaction or anything. Uh, but I'm going to try this. It says five days you should see your skin darker and I did put it on my arms as well because I feel like it's kind of weird if your legs are just the only tan things about yourself so I got that and the last thing I got at Dollar Dynasty is I'm um, obviously a glutton for punishment I got another Revlon color silk which I do like this hair dye but I think I used this color before it's deep burgundy I'm gonna try it again I do have uh, another black hair color just in case my hair comes out all funky like but um yeah I just been in regards to my hair this is I did straighten it a little bit I was trying to curl it but it looked kind of weird so this is my hair it's growing out I feel like it's growing longer since I've cut it which is always funny to me that that happens I would wait I was waiting for my hair to grow out for a really long time and then when I cut it, it seems like it's growing really really long uh so Walmart I got stickers because they have really cute ones for like 97, 97 cents. Look at this. So cute. I love these. And then I got for for when people have birthdays. And I could even write on these, I think. Uh, but these are really cute as well. My sister got me these nails. Kiss Everlasting French. Now, I'm not into wearing fake nails like this. Uh... But I mean, I figure for let's say if I have an occasion coming up and I don't have time to do my nails or well actually if I didn't have time to do my nails I probably wouldn't have time to put on fake nails but just don't want my nails to look nice. So she got me those. I also got this washi tape that says with love and I figured I could put that for anniversaries or uh, I want to put that all around for Valentine's Day. I'm sorry, for Valentine's Day and for the month of February. And okay, and then I got. Ooh, my nose just got really stuffy. Ooh, sorry. Okay, so this is the Avery. It's the full sheet labels, and I, I think I mentioned before I was using label address labels to print out my stickers and it was kind of hard to like cut around cut and paste and then put it onto the mailing label so I just got a full sheet I'm not sure if I'm even gonna use it well I'm not I will definitely be using it but I just don't know what I'm gonna put on here yet and then the last thing I want to show you right it's the last thing it are I have finished my completion of the Maybelline Color Blur by Lip Studio Cream Matte Pencils. 
I got them all. And so uh, to finish out the collection, this is Pink Insanity. Just a really bright pink. And then this is Orange Glad, which is more like a dark red. I kind of wish it was more orangey, if that makes any sense why anybody would want orange lips but I, I don't know I just feel like this was more like a tomato no sorry like orangey red and then this is light to mauve it and this one I feel like uh, with the whole 90s lipstick thing which has not gone away I don't know I really I still like that look and um, I'm not one to follow trends that much but this I feel like a lot of you would like uh, because it reminds me of the 90s and so yeah, like I was saying, this completes the set of, I believe there's, I want to say nine, I want to say ten of these. So I have all of them. If you guys want to see a separate video on it um, with all the colors uh, on my lips, then let me know because I'll be glad to do that for you. But I absolutely love these so much that it's probably been the only makeup product that I've purchased in a very, very long time. And I'm still on that kind of unspoken low no buy slash low buy I mean I can't call it a no buy I guess because I did get a few makeup products but I feel like I've been doing really well not adding so much back into my makeup collection I am still working on these little products that I'm trying to finish up and it's been a struggle because I don't wear makeup every day and I'm just tired of looking at those things but I'm pushing myself a lot of I've worn a lot of those products that I have on there and the blush that I was working through, I accidentally uh, threw it in the garbage. So that was kind of a disqualification, I guess. But I've been working on finishing those products. And hopefully I uh, can do an update video on that soon. And I did mention that I'm probably not going to do another products I want to finish up for a while. Just because I want to play with the rest of the makeup that I have. And, and I'm the type of person that once I put us, you know... I'm saying I want to finish those up. I don't really like to stray and use other things. I know I'm not the only one that's like that. So that's the end of the video. I rambled on long enough, I think. And I know that summer is winding down. It's not over yet, but it's winding down and school starting. And that kind of brings it back to I want to just end with... I'm really excited about this job that I'm going to be starting, this new chapter in my life. The school that I'm working in is fantastic. The people are really nice. Um, and it just, I'm really, really excited to be back to working again. Um, it's been tough the last, uh, you know, last period of my life that I haven't been working. Uh, but again, I'm really, really grateful and I hope you guys are doing good as well. And it's going to be busy, busy now that school starting and fall's coming. And let me know what kind of videos you would like to see from me because I kind of want to do half what you guys want to see and half of what I want to do. So let's meet in the middle somewhere. Again, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.